Hi folks, and welcome to Tips for Color Pencil Drawing, a mini drawing demo. Understanding and successfully using colors and color concepts is a valuable skill for any beginner color pencil artist. In this video, I'll delve into the fascinating world of analogous colors while drawing a pair. We'll look for color combinations to help build your color palette, and by the end of the video, you should have a basic understanding of what analogous colors are, how to look for them in any subject, and how to start using them in your colored pencil drawings. Mastering the elements of art such as color is an essential skill and it will help you become more confident in your drawings. These videos are intended for those of you who are new to using colors and are part of a series about the elements and principles of art. I'll be exploring all seven of the elements of art in upcoming videos and help artists start to improve their own work by understanding these art basics. Analogous colors are groups of hues that are adjacent to each other on the color wheel, creating a sense of harmony and cohesion within a composition. This pair is a great example of analogous colors. Other examples are this red to yellow rose, a purple-blue, purple to pink tulip, or a pink to purple to blue hyacinth flower group, as in these drawings I created. When we create a work in colored pencils, we often struggle to figure out the correct colors to use in the image. One way of determining colors in your subjects is to see if it might be based on a color theme. There are many, and the analogous color theme is one of them. In an analogous color theme, there are three color questions to ask yourself as you explore your subject. Start by asking yourself, can I see a dominant color in my subject? If you can, then mark it down and congratulate yourself because you've just achieved step one. In our pair image, the dominant color is green. It is the color that takes up the most space, but does not necessarily make the most impact. Once you've found the dominant color, then you can go from there. Again, the second question is, ask yourself, what other colors seems to be noticeable, is evident, and creates an impression? Examine the subject more closely. You're looking for what's called a secondary or supporting color. The supporting color will be quite noticeable. Once you think you've found it, determine if the supporting color sits next to the dominant color on the color wheel. If it does, then we are already halfway there in determining the subject color theme and your color choices. In the pair image, the second most prominent color is yellow. If we go back to look at our color wheels, we can see that yellow and green sit beside each other on the color wheel. Finally, we need to look at the smallest area of color. This color is referred to as the accent color. This color will not take up a large area of the subject, but it will have the greatest impact and is often a mix of two other colors. Ask yourself, what color is creating the greatest emphasis, dimension, or pop in our subject? In our pair, that color is red, red-orange. Now that we've looked closely at the three colors, let's look one more time at the color chart. Green, which is the dominant color, yellow supporting, and orange-red as the accent color all sit beside each other on the color wheel and seeing that determines that they are analogous colors and we've just figured out the main color palette of our subject. Now that's great. An analogous color theme is considered to be one of the most harmonious and calm color palettes. Colors in this theme mix well together and share a common color combination. Using it will help you create a more successful drawing. Now that we've figured out the color palette of green, yellow, and red, orange, I want to start applying that to the pair drawing. I started the video with lightly sketching the pair with a graphite pencil. I then outlined the graphite with medium dominant color and came back to erase the graphite. 
I then started applying a lightest color from the analogous palette, such as the light yellow as the base color. Use light gentle strokes to gradually fill in the shape of the pear, ensuring an even coverage. Next, select the mid-tone color, such as lime green, and begin layering it on top of the base color. Apply light pressure and use small circular strokes to create a smooth transition between the two hues. Remember, building up layers gradually will yield a more realistic and vibrant result. Also, sticking to the color theme is important. I can use different values of the yellow and green to help build the form of the pear. To add depth and dimension, I'll utilize the darkest tone of the palette, such as the burnt orange, red orange, and orange. Applying this color strategically to areas that would naturally have shadows or to be less illuminated, such as the stem or the underside of the pear, will really help to create the form of the pear. Finally, I'll remove or erase some areas of the pear to create the highlights. This is kind of the fun part for me. Blending colors is crucial when working with colored pencils. Use a blending tool or light colored pencil to gently blend the layers together, creating a seamless gradient and further enhancing the overall harmonious effect of the analogous colors. Also, it's really important to note that not all subjects are going to be as clear as this pair. You might find a dominant analogous color combination, but then there might be a complementary color in the mix. As well, you might actually even find a second analogous color mix. The idea here is for the beginner color pencil artist to find a starting point and not necessarily the end point. If your subject has an analogous color theme and you have found your dominant supporting and accent colors, then you're guaranteed a harmonious drawing just like this pair. By adding more colors, using mixes, and complementary colors, your work will soon begin to pop and shine. And that's fantastic. So going over this one more time. One, you want to establish your color theme when you're looking at doing your drawing. Remember, there are many, and the analogous colors are just one of them. Two, you want to find your dominant color. Look for the color that covers the most of your subject. Three, you want to find your supporting color. That's going to be a color that's almost taking up as much space as your dominant, but not quite as much. Four, you want to find your accent color. That's the color that seems to pop off the page. Five, if the three colors sit beside each other on the color wheel, your subject has an analogous color theme. Six, Remember, using this color analysis is just the starting point. Keep examining your subject. You might find a fun pop of color from a complementary or a color leaning to the other side of an analogous color chart you established. Just go with it. The color wheel is an invaluable tool for artists. It helps us visualize the relationships between colors and identify color themes we can use in our work. By familiarizing ourselves with the color wheel, we can confidently select suitable colors for any drawing. So congratulations. And thanks for joining me and happy drawing.